Homicide, 1904, the case of 32-year-old Raphael Ciccolini. Raphael Ciccolini was convicted of the manslaughter of 22-year-old James Albert Lee, who was a super at the Hippodrome in Soho. He stabbed him to death during a fight in Old Compton Street at about 12.30am on Sunday the 30th of July 1904. He was charged with his murder and also of maliciously wounding another man. In court he said that he had been defending a woman from an attack of roughs who had set upon them and that he was innocent. He admitted fighting them but denied that he had used a knife. James Lee and his friends had been going along Greek Street in Soho when they were drawn into an altercation with foreigners and blows were exchanged. Reports stated that they were quickly surrounded by a crowd and soon after James Lee realised that he had been stabbed. After being stabbed, James Lee walked up to a cab at the corner of Greek Street and said, Take me to Charing Cross Hospital. I've been stabbed. And he and his friend were taken to Charing Cross Hospital. The friend had been stabbed in the groin and lower back, but was allowed to leave after his wounds had been dressed. However, James Lee, who had a severe wound to his abdomen, had been in a critical condition and died around 2pm the following afternoon. Raphael Ciccolini's landlord said on the night of the 30th of July, Raphael Ciccolini appeared to have slept in his clothes. When he was arrested, he said, I only use my hands. There were ten on top of me. I saw some Englishmen knocking a woman about, and we went up and spoke to them about it. When his room was searched at 14 Arthur Street in Brompton, the police found a bone-handled clasp knife with bloodstains on it in one of the drawers, and it was taken away for examination. When it was examined, it was found to have mammal blood on it, and what looked like traces of human skin. The analyst said that the cells of the skin were human epithelium cells. He said that he also found bloodstains on Raphael Ciccolini's clothing, some of which were still glistening. Raphael Ciccolini had been an Italian kitchen porter. Whilst on remand in Brixton Prison, he twice attempted to commit suicide, the first time by strangling himself with his coat sleeve and knocking his head against the wall, and the second time by swallowing a box of brass buttons. He was convicted of manslaughter at the Old Bailey on the 16th of September 1904 and sentenced to eight years' penal servitude.